What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the supplements that I take every day for immune support. That's for protection against infectious disease and protection against chronic diseases like cancer or autoimmune diseases. So you have the same immune system, it protects you against infectious and chronic disease, and there are some key supplements that you can take that improve the function of your immune system. Some people call it boosting your immune system. Some people don't like that terminology. It doesn't really matter. The science shows that there are key nutrients that improve your immune system's ability to fight off or prevent infections and fight off, identify, and eliminate cancer cells. So here's what I take pretty much every day. Okay, first on the list is vitamin D3. I take 5,000 to 10,000 international units per day, depending on the season. So in cold and flu season in the winter months, I'm taking uh, more like 10,000 a day. In the summer months, if I'm getting a lot of sunshine, I won't take any, but uh, vitamin D is best produced by the sun, but most of us just don't get enough sunshine. So I've got a lengthy article on vitamin D, why it's the number one anti-cancer, antiviral vitamin on crispbeatcancer.com. Just type vitamin D into the search bar and you can learn all about it. I also take K2 and there's some information that's come to light that indicates it might, might be better to take K2 separately from vitamin D3. In other words, at a different time during the day. So if I take K2 in the morning, I'll take D3 at night and vice versa. I also keep this on hand. This is like emergency D3. This is a 50,000 international unit dose. Um, if I'm feeling really bad or really sick, this I would take this and could be very helpful to give to someone who you know is D deficient or who you suspect is probably D deficient. Uh, anyone who's elderly, overweight, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, a lot of times they're D deficient and a high dose can help get them their levels up quicker. It's not something you would take every day uh, as a normal supplement. So you can do some research on this. Vitamin D Wiki is a good source and my article on crispycancer.com. Next up is Sufficient C. This is vitamin C powder. Now it's easy to get vitamin C from food. It's abundant in leafy greens and berries, but I like to take Sufficient C in the morning. This is a uh, 4,000 milligram dose, but you can do one scoop and it's only 2,000. And it also has lysine, which is an anti-cancer, uh, excuse me, uh, immune boosting, I should say, um, amino acid. And it is non-GMO, and it also has green tea extract and bromelain. Uh, it tastes really good, kids like it, and uh, it's just an easy way to supplement with vitamin C. If I'm feeling run down, I will hit this hard. I'll take four grams about every hour or two all day, and it's incredible how good it makes you feel there's no way you can understand unless you do it. And the unique thing about vitamin C is that the sicker you are, the more your uh, vitamin C your body will absorb and use. So high dose vitamin C is very, very important, very helpful for someone who is sick. I have an article on crispycancer.com about vitamin C. So type vitamin C in the search bar and read that article. That's about the high dose protocol. So you can learn all about that and how to do it. Okay, the next supplement, actually, I don't have here. I ran out uh, last week and threw the bottle away, and <laughs> I don't have a new uh, copy of it, but it's beta-glucans from my friends at Better Way Health. They also supply this vitamin D3. And um, I take beta-glucans every day. You take it on an empty stomach, and beta-glucans come from mushrooms, barley, nutritional yeast, oats, and uh, it is an immunomodulatory immunomodula compound found in nature, found in food, and uh, it just helps your immune system work better. So I like to take beta-glucans. Alternately, a mushroom supplement like this one, Host Defense Stamet 7, uh, I'd actually take both. It might be overkill, but I, I'm kind of a geek, supplement geek, and so I do take both. Uh, Stamet 7 powder is easy to put into juice or oatmeal or a smoothie, so I take that every day. Next up is zinc. Zinc is a mineral that helps your immune system work better. It, it kills viruses. It's an antiviral mineral. Uh, very, very important, very helpful. And um, I, uh, the, the tricky thing with zinc is there's a lot of different forms. And 
uh, you want to be taking 50 milligrams of elemental zinc. That's the optimal dose. And if you look on the back of this, it says 50 milligrams, but that's not elemental zinc. That's 50 milligrams of zinc gluconate. So you have to Google zinc calculator or elemental zinc in, uh, for example, zinc gluconate to figure out how much to take. So in the case of this form, I would need to take seven, really seven to eight. It's not a precise uh, uh, ratio, but seven to eight of these per day to get 50 milligrams of elemental zinc. Next up is quercetin. Quercetin is a bioflavonoid, anti-cancer, antiviral, immune supporting. It helps zinc work better. It's a zinc ionophore. So it helps get zinc into viral uh, infected cells and kill them. You can also uh, take it in liquid form. This is easy to give to kids. And uh, so we have this on hand as well. Next up is curcumin from my friends at Better Way Health. They only make three supplements, beta-glucans, D3, and curcumin. That's it. And they do them really, really well. This is actually C3 complex curcumin with bioperin, which is a black pepper extract. So it increases absorption significantly. And uh, it's a thousand milligrams per tablet. I take twice a day with, let's say, breakfast and lunch or breakfast and dinner. And curcumin is one of the most potent anti-cancer, anti-viral, uh, anti-inflammatory uh, supplements out there. It's fantastic. And I also take turmeric powder. Curcumin comes from turmeric. I put turmeric powder in oatmeal. I put it in smoothies. I put it on my giant salad. I put it on vegetables. So get as much turmeric and curcumin in your body as you can. It is absolutely phenomenal. Again, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, and um, antioxidant. So I love taking curcumin. We'll probably take that for life. <clears throat> Next is melatonin. Uh, six milligrams of melatonin per night is what I take. This is uh, time release. And uh, melatonin is one of the most potent anti-cancer hormones in your body. And it's, only, it's produced at night when you sleep, but you can also take it in supplement form. And it's still helpful in supplement form. So um, great for immune support. Next is artemisia, also known as artemisinin, also known as artesunate, and it comes from sweet wormwood. And uh, cool story about artemisinin, the, the scientist who discovered it, Dr. Yu Yu Tu, won a Nobel Prize in 2015 for her discovery because artemisinin is an incredible anti-parasitic medicine, and it's in supplement form. So anti-malarial, anti-parasitic, and it has antiviral and anti-cancer effects. Guess what? She shared that Nobel Prize in 2015 with Dr. William Campbell and Dr. Satoshi Amora for their discovery of ivermectin, which is a very similar compound in the, in the sense that it has similar effects in the body. So this is sort of like a natural supplemental form of ivermectin. They're, they're very similar. Uh, very similar mechanisms of action in the body. Next is one of my personal favorites of all time, black seeds, Nigella sativa or black seed oil. Black seeds, you can grind these up in a little coffee grinder and add them to sm uh, smoothies or oatmeal uh, or sprinkle on vegetables or salad. If you Google recipes, there's a lot of different things you can do with black seeds. Or you can take black seed oil if you want a more concentrated, uh, you know, Thymokinone is the active ingredient in uh, black seeds here. TQ is, is how it's often abbreviated. And I will usually take about a tablespoon of this at a time. Some people take more. And uh, it's, it's spicy and kind of, uh, it's kind of funky. But uh, anyway, it is uh, anti-cancer, antiviral, incredible for immune support. And uh, it's not something you're going to get in food. You have to be deliberate about this, kind of like artemisinin. and uh, you have to take it supplementally or consume the seeds if you want the benefits. Thymokinone is a unique molecule that you really just don't find anywhere else except for black seeds. Okay, last couple things is the most underrated of all, honey. 
Honey is antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, anti-cancer. It is a true superfood from nature. This honey came from across the street from our friend, dear friend, Mr. Bill. He has two uh, beehives in his backyard and he harvests them about twice a year and gives us pure local raw honey. So there it is. And uh, yeah, don't underestimate honey. It's, it's wonderful. Put it in tea, put it in oatmeal, uh, have it by the spoonful. It is good for you. It's not just a sweet, it's not just a sweetener, okay? This is medicinal food. Also incredible to put on cuts and wounds because of its antibacterial nature. It helps prevent uh, infection from, uh, from cuts. Better than Neosporin. Last on the list, <clears throat> this is a, a solution, uh, 10 to 1, filtered water, and betadine, or povidine iodine, okay? And this is a nasal spray to reduce or eliminate viral particles in your nose. So if you are in public around a lot of people, and some of them are coughing and sneezing, you can flush your nose out with this and kill viral particles that may have accumulated in your nose. Because you know, when you get a viral particle, respiratory virus in your nose, it's gonna hang out in your nose for, for days, right? And reproduce. That's where a lot of the reproduction is happening, is in your nose. So you can flush your nose out a few times per day, two or three times per day with this and reduce the viral particles and significantly make an impact on um, your likelihood of getting a full-blown infection when you're exposed to respiratory virus. This is, this is pretty cutting edge stuff that's just come to light this year. So, so easy to do. And if you're around friends or family uh, and people are maybe sick, coughing and sneezing, you can do this as a preventative uh, after the party, <laughs> after the get together. Uh, and so we have that on hand as well. Easy to make up. I got the jars on Amazon and then you can order betadine or povidine iodine on Amazon and uh, do a 10 to one solution. Now I'm gonna put links below this video to the resources that I've mentioned. And uh, so you can dig further, learn more. You don't have to take my word for it. You, you should learn more. And, uh, and there's a lot of wonderful medical uh, sources, resources of information on these supplements, on um, the science behind them, why, how they help your body. And um, that will help you make uh, an informed decision. So thanks for watching.